So today I'm doing a DIY facial mask, what you can do at home to clean up your skin because I woke up this morning and my skin has been a complete disaster in like the last couple weeks. I don't know why. I think it's like the change in weather and the humidity and like stress and everything and I don't know. So today I'm doing a tea tree oil mask and I'm really excited about it because like I love tea tree oil things and the other day I was like yeah I'm gonna make this I found it and I realized I didn't actually have any tea tree oil itself so I was really bummed out but I found some I'm going to make my mask here what I need is a tablespoon of yogurt so it didn't really I don't think it say what kind of yogurt so I'm just gonna use my vanilla organic it's organic so maybe it'll be okay so I'm gonna start with this and it says tablespoon you might be better off with like plain yogurt just because like I'm sure if there's vanilla it's a little bit more sweet but we'll try this so I'm gonna do a tablespoon of vanilla and I'm gonna do a tablespoon of honey so many great things about honey like oh my goodness I should make a video on how many good things there are for honey like for your skin and for like if you're sick or if you have like sore throat or like honey and tea and honey and cinnamon. Okay, so there is our tablespoon of honey. And then it calls for two to three drops of tea tree oil. And I know I was reading her page and it mentioned like you can just take like a Q-tip and dab this on for spot treatment. Um, and she says to, or like if you want to use it in other things, you should dilute it because it can dry your skin out. So that definitely smells like tea tree oil. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, um, it says the benefits are cleansing, purifying, and re renewing, so. There we go, three drips of that. And just mix it together. So lots of her, I find lots of her DIYs are super neat. I also found like one of her cinnamon masks that ends up looking like chocolate. I was gonna try that one the other night too. But I find like my skin just went like this area and then I had a huge white head this like what is going on? Like I had a perfect complexion the other day, but I mean no one's doesn't stay perfect forever, right? That's okay. Okay, so it just says to apply it with your fingers on your face, but right before I'm gonna do that, I'm actually going to wipe my face. I have just a clean face cloth sitting over here in a bowl of really warm water. Set it on your face, almost like because it's warm, and just let it open all your pores. Just like this. And just hold it on there for a couple seconds. And it's dripping. And don't forget your neck either. A lot of people tend to forget their neck, and this probably looks really funny because I'm talking through a face cloth right now. And let's do this. I was talking to my hubby there actually the other day, and I find like so many people make videos and they're, um, ooh, it's cold. Um, like their personality really shines in the video, and it's not that I'm not comfortable, but I find my personality like doesn't come out or something. I look like I'm a shy little girl or something when I'm like doing my videos. I don't know. Okay. You can definitely smell the tea tree oil. Oh my nose ring. Okay, so I'm just applying this on my face. So just use your fingers. Don't forget your neck area too, because a lot of people, like I said, forget their neck. But it's not really sticky, it seems so like mixed in with a lot of the yogurt. I'm not going to go too close to my eyes either, just in case, and the, I know the tea tree oil would definitely make them water. So. <laughs> but what I like about this is there's no sting, like I don't find any stinging, there's no stinging. I, I really don't like masks that you put them on and they're like stinging. No.
sticky when it dries. Can you feel it tightening on your face? Ew, it looks so gross. Mm. This is awesome. I'm showing you my flaws. Feeling good. Feeling good. Drink water. What is good for me? Snapchat. Do you want to see Snapchat? I got stuff. I stuff. No stuff. Ooh, my eyes sticking. Why? <laughs> my hands are all sticking Okay, out. so I think 10 to 15 minutes has passed. The mask has tightened up around my face and it actually feels like honey now that's like stuck to my face and sticking and my one eyelash just keeps sticking. Um, so I'm gonna wipe it off now. Okay, and there you have it. My skin actually feels really clean and smells good too. So I think that mask was a success. So I will post a link up for you off of Michelle Fawn's website. Uh, I believe it's her blog website. I'll put that there. I'll also post the recipe of the mask for you if you didn't catch it. If you like this kind of video and you want to see more videos or if you have any requests for me, whether it's a do-it-yourself or any questions or any tutorials or look-alike kind of things, let me know in the comments below and thumbs up this video if you did like it. You can follow me on Twitter at Cleanser and your best of my pearls on Tumblr. Most of all, you can subscribe to my channel on here. Um, I believe there's a button for that below. So, yeah, here was my first seg seg segment on following fun and my do-it-yourself tea tree oil mask. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video.